What is the difference between penetration testing and vulnerability testing? Well, I thought I kind of knew the difference, but then I had some training calls with actually a certified ethical hacker who is doing a lot of penetration testing for third party companies and is, is actually a penetration tester. And one of the things that got brought up, I was asking him, I said, well, hey, what are some of the, um, what, are some, what are some of the things that a lot of companies, as you start to do the penetration testing, what are some of the things that you notice a lot of companies aren't aware of? And the first thing he said was a lot of companies don't understand the differences between vulnerability tests and penetration tests. And so I thought that was interesting. I, threw, I thought I, know that I knew the differences, but he actually told me a couple things too that I wasn't really aware of. So I wanted to make a video on that. But before I get started, really quick, just a quick little house cleaning advertisement here. If you want my recommendations on the best penetration testing companies for your company or vulnerability tests for your company, don't Google it, just reach out and contact me. I'm a broker for all these different companies. More information on that at the end of the video. Okay, so what is the difference between a vulnerability test and a penetration test? Well, the easy thing right out of the gate is that a vulnerability test is usually just using software to scan the network for vulnerabilities, as opposed to a penetration test is usually taking it a step further. And if you're using a good penetration testing company, they're using certified ethical hackers to go further than a vulnerability test can go. So they're using, they're adding the human element into it. So, if you think about it, a vulnerability test is always part of a penetration test, but not vice versa. So you could do a vulnerability test by itself. You could just run a software scan vulnerability test, but you can't do a penetration test, a good one, without a vulnerability test. So the vulnerability test is always part of a good penetration test. You wanna scan the network first for some obvious vulnerabilities and then take it a step further adding the human element to it. So that's easy right out of the gate. Another way to think about it is that a vulnerability test lacks context because it's just a software scan. So it's gonna scan your, it's gonna scan your environment for possible holes, right? Vulnerabilities. And then, but it's lacking the context of, and then what? So think about that phrase, and then what? and that's where the penetration test comes in. So a vulnerability scan might show you something like, hey, there's a port open on your firewall. But what the vulnerability scan cannot show you is that yes, but if you try to get in that way, you're gonna get blocked through something else. So it's not taking it a step further, and that's where a penetration tester would come in and say, oh, okay, hey, hey, there's an open port on the firewall, let me see if I can get in. And then they were like, oh no, I can't get in that way because I'm blocked through something else. So a vulnerability scan automatically is gonna be prone to a lot of false positives. So definitely two different things, vulnerability scan, a software scan that lacks context. Penetration test is a deeper analysis of specific ways you're definitely vulnerable. So, in, and with penetration tests, you can do white box testing, gray box testing, black box testing, as I mentioned before. You can do external testing, you can do internal testing, you can do physical security. There's a lot of different types of penetration testing, but, and if you wanna see what those are, you can watch my other videos, but I hope that helps give you some idea of the difference between a vulnerability test and a penetration test. Those are two different things that sometimes people mix up and use the same semantics for, for one versus the other, but they're really two completely different things. I hope that helps a little bit. If you'd like my recommendations, again, on the best penetration testing companies to run a formal penetration test for your company or a vulnerability scan for your company, or maybe both, obviously, reach out and contact me. Don't start Googling it. Don't try to see who the most popular person on the web is for doing this just, you'll probably reach out and find the wrong person. Reach out and contact me. I'm a broker for all the major 
cybersecurity service providers out there and based on your company's requirements, I can pair you up with this best small handful of companies that you should be quoting for your organization specifically. And the nice thing is, is that all these companies, if you find the right company and that I recommend to you and you guys end up purchasing from them, that company will pay me a broker fee. So you don't have to pay me for my brokering services at all. So there's no excuse not to at least call me and ask me for my recommendations. I've been doing this for many, many years and can really help you save a lot of time and get with the right vendors right away. So if the video was helpful, don't forget to hit, hit the like and subscribe button down below and I will catch you on the next one.